Hey everyone, it's Thursday, so that means it's time for another Tune-Up Thursday, and these are videos that we put together to help you to take care of your marriage. Now, I'm sitting here in my office, got my computer right here, and I was reading an article, and it, and it was talking about this whole idea about seeing your, your spouse as your adversary and what, what a danger that can be, because the reality is your spouse is not your enemy, because if your spouse is your enemy or you start to see your spouse as your enemy, guess what? Good things don't happen because then it becomes a, a me versus him or me versus her. And uh, what you're trying to do is win as an individual. You're not trying to win for, for the marriage. And we have to make sure that we recognize who the real enemy is. The real enemy is uh, selfishness or the real enemy is where we let um, something or someone creep in and seek to, to uh, tear us apart. And actually, if we would just be real honest, the, the real enemy to our marriage is, is the ultimate en enemy. It's, it's the devil. The devil wants to do the Bible talks about this, to steal, to kill, and destroy. Uh, and it's, it crawls, you know, crawls, crawls around, you know, seeking for someone to devour. It's, the, the enemy is real, and it's, it, it wants to attack our marriage. And the way that it attacks our marriage is it makes us turn against our spouse and to start to see our spouse as our enemy. And like I said earlier, when you see your spouse as an enemy, then what you're trying to do is you're trying to defeat that enemy. You're not trying to persuade that enemy to come onto your side. You want, you want to win, and chances are you may even want that enemy out. And so what a lot of times happens in marriage is we just we give up. We, we just say, you know what, this isn't for me. Here's some phrases I want to read to you. Um, it's just not going to get any better. That's, that's, that's the enemy talking right there. You know, it's, just, it's never going to get better. It's always going to be this way. Uh, don't rock the boat. Just settle for what you got. And so what that means basically is you're just, you know, you're not going to discuss anything. You're not ever going to bring up anything. You're just going to say, hey, it is what it is. I'm going to be unhappy, so might as well just get used to being unhappy. Another one is it's not worth the effort. Don't give it one more try. Okay, again, give up language. It's language of, you know what, it's just, it's just easier to stop. It's easier to just, to just go our separate ways. Uh, never, let, never let anyone hurt you again, right? So then when you see that phrase, it's like you're not willing to trust anymore. Um, now, I realize there are times in a relationship where you get hurt over and over and over, and there's wisdom in pulling back and saying, hey, listen, I keep getting hurt here, so we need to figure something out. We need to figure out why this keeps happening, and, and we need to make sure it stops. So, But when we're talking about this idea of seeing our spouse as the enemy, then what we're saying is, you know what, I, I'm not going to put myself out there. I don't want to trust them because they're not trustworthy, and I'm not going to do anything to try to, to try to maybe fix that. I'm just, they're not going to hurt me again. Uh, next one I see here is, you do your thing and I'll do mine. Man, this is this is where this is where you start to become roommates. Where you just go, you know what? We'll pay the bills. We'll 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 share the chores. You know, we'll take care of the kids. But you know what? When it comes to the marriage, you do you, I'll do me, and we're not going to worry about the us. Just take care of each other. Um, and here's what uh, a, a dangerous thought. Another one it lists is I I shouldn't have never I should have never married him or I shouldn't have never married her. When you get to that point, that's just, I mean, you are on, you're on the edge of divorce. I mean, one more step and you're over the cliff. And that's a horrible attitude to have. It's a horrible thing to think because here's the deal. When you're thinking this way, chances are all you're focused on is about the here and now. You've forgotten why you got married. You've forgotten why you, you, you started to love that person anyway. You, you've forgotten about the good times, the, the negativity or the hurt or the anger has overcrowded everything else. And so you just, you need to take a step back. You need to get help. You need to widen your circle as we've talked about and let some other people who love you, who love your marriage, speak into that. And another dangerous one like that is, just, you know what? I, I'd be happier if I was with someone else or, or someone else wouldn't do this to me. Or maybe you've already got a name in your head like so-and-so, when I'm with so-and-so, they never treat me like this or they're always listening or they're always good to me or they're always whatever. And so what we've done is we've just fantasized. You know, it's not even reality because guess what? Those people that you're talking to, sure, they might be nicer to you right now than your spouse is, but guess what they don't have to do with you? They don't have to live with you. They don't have to put up with the day-to-day -day stuff that you you and your spouse go through. So sure, that's going to look like a better relationship. That's going to look like a, 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 where he or she treats me better. Better. It's because they don't spend all the time with you uh, that, that your spouse normally does. And so you have to be careful that you don't make your spouse the enemy. You have to identify the enemy. It's not your spouse. 
it's a conflict. It's, it's, it's something that's happening that is seeking to kind of get in between you and your spouse and, and push you away. And ultimately, we know that comes from the enemy when it comes from Satan. Satan wants to destroy marriages because he knows marriages are, are good uh, for, for a family. Marriages are good in the church. Marriages can, can be a great witness to, to people. And so he's going to do everything he can to destroy those. But guess what? We're in a battle. We're in a war against the enemy. And so what we're going to do is we're going to fight. But we're not going to fight you know, using our own strength. We're going to fight using the strength that God gives us through the Holy Spirit and what He teaches us in His Word, right? What He tells us to do, how to love one another, how to treat one another, how to forgive one another, how to be patient with one another, how to, what things to say to one another, support one another, pray for one another. That's what we're going to focus on. So remember, your spouse is not the enemy. The enemy is the enemy, but your spouse is your partner, your spouse is your teammate. You know, I, I read a study that said the marriages that are happier, that are more peaceful, are marriages that use these pronouns like we, us, ours. And the ones that, that get more frustrated are the ones that use pronouns like I, or me, or you, or mine, or yours. So be a team. It's not about me, it's about the we. All right, do me a favor, like this video and share this video. And as always, please, 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 Take care of your marriage.